Tantor's recap on Atlanta United's 2-1 loss to the New York Red Bull. Well, we can say that Pineda tried to coach this match, and he came out in a 5-3-2 formation with Moreno and Joseph Martinez on the bench as super subs to try to save their legs for the end of the match. Well, some aspects it worked. Um, we basically just played possession soccer, uh, just very low key. It's not our usual attacking style, exciting soccer. It wasn't. It was a fairly dull clinical match through the majority of the game. Uh, we had a couple good opportunities playing direct to Arujo in the first half, and, and he missed. Uh, one good save and a good defensive play took away that opportunity. But it looked like New York Red Bull, all they were doing, if Arahu got the ball, just knock the crap out of him and take your yellow card. So New York picked up three yellow cards, uh, filing Arahu extremely hard. Uh, other leagues in the world, if you have a player of Arahu's uh, stature and skill level, if they're fouled like that, it would be red cards instead of yellow cards, and they would get that out of the game. MLS, of course, doesn't want... Uh, to have exciting soccer. They want more of a fist fight, more of a rugby match. And uh, that's just MLS officiating for you. But uh, New York held in there. It was nil-nil until the 74th minute. Joseph came, was had come on and got a tap in. Great play by Caleb Wiley and McFadden that had started at the wings. Uh, you know, Wiley had a good cross. McFadden crossed it back over with the header across the middle. Uh, Heinemann missed the shot, but Joseph put the rebound in. Good combo play. Those two guys, if we have a bright point on this team with all the injuries, is that we have found the wings of the future. I think they're better than the current wings. Wiley and McFadden deserve more playing time. They deserve to start, and they are, and they're playing extremely well, and they're part of the attack, and they're doing a good job. Uh, you know, we get to the stats. Remember, they're my stats. We had 57% possession. But we didn't do anything with the possession, so that was that's worthless. Um, New York, when they have possession, they make things count. Uh, we only had eight shots on the game. New York outshot us. They had 14. We only had eight. Uh, goal, Rick Rocco, Rio Snobos, he only had one save. Uh, nothing was really on target. With our back three in there, with the three center backs, with Dijon, Campbell, and Franco, you can say that they controlled New York for a long period of time, but I think a lot of it was just luck. It was just poor play, I think, on New York's part not to take advantage of that. At the end of the game, New York tied it up in the 81st minute where they took advantage of those three backs, got a guy loose. Wiley came in and made a dumb play with a slide tackle in the box. New York got the PK. They put it in. 88th minute, Franco played a flat pass across, a real weak flat pass across the back. And Dijon, instead of stepping toward the ball and receiving it, decided to go down the field and let New York pick that off. Um, what's that kid's name? He's 16 years old, Noma. Uh, great play on his part. He jumped the pass, had 1v1 on Rocco and beat him. Rocco really couldn't do much about it. That's it. That was the game. Uh, we made, we played pretty good soccer. Uh, Nothing exciting, but we kept the game in hand. Uh, play, I thought Pineda was playing for a draw the entire time, and we gave up two dumb plays to give up two goals to lose this game at the end, and that sucks. Uh, you know, here we managed to pull out a loss out of the jaws of victory, and it's just complete dumb. Dumb plays at the end, dumb individual plays. Our back line stinks. Uh, those three center backs are not any good. They're not MLS players, but we've been saying that. There's no urgency in our play either. It's very casual play on that back line. Other teams like New York, Toronto did it. We'll see NYCFC do it on Sunday. They're going to press our back line, and it's going to put us in trouble, and we're going to end up giving up a dumb goal because of it, or two or three. We'll see. Uh, the last five minutes of stoppage time was a, just – an embarrassment for MLS, where New York rolled around on the ground for at least four minutes of those, so there wasn't really any stoppage time. And the center ref called it right on time, so it was, it was crap. But I'm not going to say that would have made any difference because we were frustrated and weren't having any urgency in that. So it, Red Bulls won. 
we lost. It is what it is. Uh, we've got another game against NYCFC. We cannot pick up any points on the road. This is a tough stretch, and uh, it looks like we're in a race to the bottom. So we need some changes with these two new players coming in uh, next week, and hopefully they'll change some of our fortune and, and basically shore up our defense. We'll see you again on Sunday. Tantor out.